Hi all, let's continue looking at Nakamura in the Rapid Open. So in round five, Nakamura was playing white against Jonathan Hawkins, who had jointly won the British Championship earlier in the year, along with David Howell. There had been no playoff as Howell had to go straight to the Olympiad after. So this was also the year Jonathan Hawkins became a Grandmaster 2014. He was an IM in 2010 and a FIDE Master in 2010 as well. So he's author of the book Amateur to IM. Uh, that's one of his books. And uh, okay, let's see this game. So D4 from Nakamura and the current British champion played Knight F6. And we saw a surprising second move, Chompovsky. And this is the most principled, most used reply, Knight E4. Bishop drops back to F4. This is the most common. There's also, by the way, Bishop H4. It's a bit rarer, over 500 games of that. But Bishop F4 is the main move. Now, uh, usually c5 actually here, which gives ideas of queen b6 hitting b2. The bishop's absence of protection of b2 is, is highlighted. But uh, this is also popular, d5, and we have e3. And in fact, c5 here transposes anyway into uh, the most common sort of games that can continue from this uh, opening. So bishop d3, and now usually, in this position, actually, the knight goes back to f6. Uh, that's over. That's about 130 games. C takes is is 54. Uh, this is much rarer now. Queen b6 here. So it seems quite logical to try and punish the bishop not protecting b2. Uh, Nakamura now actually played. Bishop takes e4. This is the most common uh, move. And black usually here plays d takes e4, but it's meant to be uh, a small advantage. Uh, this position for white, small advantage. Uh, players are often playing knight c3. And for example, queen takes b2, knight g e2. And there's some initiative for the pawn. It makes it a fun kind of opening actually uh, to play. Uh, what, what does black actually do here? Say bishop g4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e2, there's king takes e2 to keep the rook protected. And it's a fun position for white, it's, it's an advantage for white. Um, yeah, a good outcome from the opening that would have been. But now, much rarer move than taking on e4 was played though here. Queen takes b2, only four games in life, but one of them is probably this game. Now, here, uh, this, this is quite interesting. Uh, there's two games each with knight d2 and sacrificing the exchange with bishop takes d5. Uh, the rook that represents an exchange sacrifice. Um, if, if knight d2 had been played, d takes, it's still a pleasant position for white. It's a, it's a pleasant enough position. But uh, bishop takes d5 is also very, very interesting. Uh, so black really is um, taking the rook now. Uh, I suppose he could delay it with e6. I don't think it makes much uh, difference. In fact, then knight d2, an option to protect the rook. So the rook is taken. So is the queen vulnerable there? a2 is actually protected from the bishop. We see knight f3. And engine valuation here might be a bit misleading because this, is, this represents what visually is a very difficult to play position for black. There's actually no development of pieces. The queen is kind of trapped for the moment. The a2 pawn is protected by the bishop. Um, so yes, okay, technically black's the exchange up, but what about the rest of the army? It's not in good shape. So we see e6. And the bishop just brought, drops back. How is this queen actually getting out of here? Knight d7, Nakamura just castle. So look at White's developments, quite significant. Like both bishops are out. Uh, this queen is, is still trapped. We see now uh, Black's really in a very difficult position. If he tries to wriggle the queen out, say b2, the knight's protecting the exit square a3. So in this position, actually, it seems queen d3. And followed followed by something like knight c3 is going to be dangerous 
uh, with knight b5, knight c7 ideas. Uh, for example, bishop e7, uh, or even here, knight fd2 for knight c4 is dangerous. Uh, so it's it's a tricky position for the queen. She didn't venture out to b2 here though. C takes d4 was played, uh, which might be a more significant mistake now in relation to this queen not just being trapped but being won, because with C takes d4, I mean the engine suggestion is queen queen here. It seems a bit murky to have to play this or other moves uh, like that. Um, in fact, I think mean, White's in the the driving seat anyway here. But the problem with C takes d4, it means this bishop can potentially retreat back and win the queen under the right circumstances of not losing the, the b1 knight. So e takes d4, bishop b4, and now Nakamura arranges uh, this concept of putting the bishop here. That's the ideal. If the bishop was there, the queen would be munched. We see queen d3, so protecting c3. Uh, so the queen is just waiting there. Um, on queen b2, I don't think it really helps here, but this is what is played. So let's have a look. So queen b2. Now there's there's two ideas for white to try and exploit the queen here. Uh, this this might be one of the very strongest. Nakamura played c3 with so with tempo on on the bishop on b4. Why not? But um, that could actually be proven to be one of the, one of the best moves here. Uh, another idea might be knight fd2. You think uh, just just to go with knight c4. Uh, to kind of checkmate the queen, but b5, uh, okay, c3, yeah, it's it's still bad for black. This looks extremely bad, um, just 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 in principle. Where is that queen going? If it's not rounded up with this bishop like that, it could actually be rounded up like this, uh, potentially. Um, well, th there's other ways of, of rounding up the queen uh, potentially. So anyway, queen b2. We see c3, so with tempo, bishop moves back, and now simply bishop c1. It does seem uh, very good to put the queen back on at a1, and now just queen c2 with the threat of bishop b2. And now black resigns. Yes, it does seem like, in fact, John Hawkins may have fallen into a, a well known opening kind of trap in, in Trompowski. It just seems um, like a, a highly difficult position to play. If we look at this position, the, the exchange sack, uh, the queen just stranded there, uh, not able to get out. Uh, the engine suggestions here, I mean, include actually c4, funny enough. If we look at c4, let's see what this does. Check right here. This is still going to be better. Uh, for white, because results like king takes d2 are useful here, and then white can leave that queen trapped and play things like queen g4 soon. So say castles, uh, maybe, maybe coming out for an attack is possible. Even like queen h5, the queen can often uh, be left there, and maybe uh, later, you know, rounded up like this. There's other ways to get the queen uh, rounded up. So, say we had this position, maybe like bishop d6. Bishop b4 to round up the queen like this. It just it just seems like a very vulnerable position to have with no development. You know, a tactical trick c4 here. Um, I mean, what other ideas? Knight d7 is seen as a mistake from the engine's point of view. Knight c6. Uh, how does this improve things? Um, it seems you know in in this kind of thing, again you know it's it's very very tricky. For black, you know, white's just going to play something like this and, and knight b5 potentially. Uh, so th this this requires I don't know nerves of steel I, to have the queen like this. It doesn't look, it doesn't doesn't bode well. Knight c4 coming up to munch the queen here. What does black do here? B5. It still looks pretty bad. It's fantastic compensation uh, for the exchange. Um, so here, say bishop takes a3. And what does black do? Black's in trouble, big trouble. Like this, for example, there'll be gigantic compensation being generated for black trying to get the queen out. So yeah, it seems like uh, a diabolical queen trap. Uh, the way you know knight d7 probably doesn't help too much, nor does c takes d4. But it's, it's difficult to suggest 
what black does here again just to review queen b2 queen d3 uh, this position has knight fd2 for knight c4 uh, so this this gets you know very difficult for black if this e takes maybe we can keep the threat I mean what, what does black actually do here b5 it, I think it compromises the position a bit in fact say queen f3 here Bishop c7 we're just threatening to, to win material and leave that queen stranded here um, takes win material like this if the queen did get out there'd be consequences anyway damage elsewhere so yeah it just seems it just seems uh, maybe a kind of probably a well-known trap in Chomposky just uh, hasn't been seen on such a high level a rapid game between two grandmasters uh, for a while I guess <laughs> But yeah, the Queen's just trapped. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.